wanna say goodnight, wanna say goodnight and go. Wanna say goodnight, baby, say goodnight and go. Wanna say goodnight, say goodnight and go. guys jacob is here so if you hear him talking don't bother <laughs> but i'm gonna be putting on my silly hair today just because i want to look cute so it comes with a bag and it also comes with the adjustable straps that go inside of the wig this is the bag jacob, no, no. it comes with a bonnet jacob be quiet it comes with a bonnet some lashes a head wrap and a wig cap and also just an information card of their website and Instagram and stuff. This is the wig. I have to pluck it because the hairline is very thick. So this is how it's looking right now. I did go ahead and bleach the knots. But now I'm going to go pluck it and then I'm going to put it on. So it looks like this. And then I'll come back and you guys are going to see how it's looking. Alright you guys, so this is before I pluck the wig and this is how it looks. The hairline is very thick so you will have to go ahead and bleach and pluck the wig. I already bleached it and this is after plucking for 30 minutes. This is how it's looking and I left it to air dry. This is a very thick wig so I'm going to leave all the specs down below so you guys can check it out. And I'm just putting it on my head like this. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the air tabs just tracing around my ear. I do have a slow motion video. So if you want to see a dedicated how to cut off your air tabs, I will link it up an eye above so you guys can check that out. And then I'm going to go ahead and part it in the, in the lace area and use my hot comb to flat down this wig because I want to wear this hair silky straight. That is why I braided my hair at the start of the video. And now I'm going to go in with the Erica J Hold Me Down Holding Spray. This spray is very, very strong. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's not like any other hairspray. It's kind of like sticky like glue. So I like that. And it dries fast. So good. You're going to see me pull it when it's done drying so you can see that it actually stays. What I will say is to put the nozzle closer to your lace if you're going to use this because if you spray too far away, it's going to fall down your face. So just put the nozzle close to the lace so it can be directly where you want it to be. I'm just blow drying it on low heat. And I noticed that I should just go ahead and cut off the lace. So I started cutting the lace off and just blending it like that. And I feel like this works better for me instead of trying to glue down the lace and then, you know. Because even though like when you cut the lace off, this is how you're going to have to reapply it anyways. So I just recommend cutting the lace off and just blending the edges of the lace. And as you can see, I'm putting the nozzle closer to the, the hairline so it doesn't fall down my face. Look how this is melted. I did not tint this lace or anything. I literally just put it on straight out the packaging. When, once I do the edges, I will go ahead and put some of my um, Ruby Kisses two-sided foundation in little white spots. But for the most part, this lace matches me perfectly on this wig. And as you can see, it's dried already. You see, I'm pulling it yeah this hairspray is so strong and it has a 24 hour hold i love this hairspray already this is probably my new favorite and i'm just cutting off the rest of the lace and i'm going to glue down well spray down those parts and make sure you're getting this on your skin because some parts was on my hairline like my hair itself it wasn't sticking down for a long period of time like by the time two hours went past it was already up but obviously you couldn't see it because i laid the edges on top of it And this is me pulling it. It's so strong. You can see my skin moving. 
so this is how it's looking once i'm done i'm gonna go ahead and put my hair up in a ponytail and i'm gonna tie it down with my head wrap you can shop my head wrap now on chop it touches i will have the links down below i have a limited stock available also my hair butter and hair growth oil to make sure that you're growing your natural edges and hair underneath your wigs will be linked down below i'm blow drying this hair on high heat just to make sure that it's nice and smooth just because i washed this wig since i bleached the knots so i'm just blow drying this out so i can straighten it now i'm going to go ahead and take out the front pieces so i can lay down the edges And then I'm just going to cut that being horizontal. I'm not cutting in a straight line. Just kind of run the scissors up and down so it's not blunt. I'm going to spray some of the hairspray on my edges brush. And I'm going to go ahead and swoop the edges. Make sure that you're using your finger to guide how you want this to lay. As you can see, just pay attention to my finger and the motion of the brush. I'm moving the brush, but I'm also like smoothing it out with my finger afterwards. And I'm going to hot comb the other side just because I did not do this to the other side. Remember, I stopped the left side. You're right. I stopped it and then I just glued the wig down. So I'm just making sure that everything is nice and smooth. But before I fly iron, I want to have a blunt chop underneath my boob area. And I accidentally cut my dress. You're going to see me cut my freaking dress. My favorite house dress. And I cut it. But it looks like this. You can go ahead and put some Bio Silk Serum, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm just giving it a little bit of layers at the front to frame my face. And now I'm going to go ahead and section this off so I can start flat ironing this hair. I'm just doing the back. I'm using my Babyliss Nano Pro 1.5 inch flat iron. And I'm just going to go through this hair. And as you can see, this hair is super silky. No product is in this hair. It's so silky and soft and it's thick. That's what I love. I love the thickness of this hair. I will have the links down below if you guys want to check it out and shop Sealy Hair. Baby, what you trying to say? Lately, all I want is you on top of me. You know where your hands should be So baby, won't you come show me I got you, I got you dreaming You close your eyes, I am screaming Play with your mind for no reason I know you love how I tease it You know that I'm playing So don't be mistaken You already know what I'm thinking Boy, why'd I have to be so cute? It's impossible to ignore you must you make me laugh so much it's bad enough we get along so well just say goodnight and then once i'm done i'm gonna go ahead and bump the ends going inward because i wanted to have that nice subtle bump type of look i don't know it looks very sophisticated to me so that's what i'm doing right here i'm just bumping it inwards like so and this is basically the end look. I love how this is looking. You can go ahead and put some of your Kara Care, Kara Care wax stick at the top of your hair to get rid of the flyaways. Or you can spray some hairspray. But this is basically the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out Silly Hair. I will have all the links down below so you guys can check them out. Let me know if you guys are feeling this highlighted wig. This came pre-highlighted, which I'm so shook about because it's still healthy and nice. And look how... It's shiny and it's flowy and it's thick. Like this is so awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And check out my other videos. I will have them in the eye above and down below. And I will definitely see you guys in my, other, in my next video. Bye.
things end Any excuse to stay awake with you You'd sleep here, I'd sleep there Then the heating may be done again Echo, two, my channel. Good job, high five. <laughs> camera, chick, we're here at the camera. Go back, camera.